What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I want to put this out to fix this fucking camera angle. I want to put this out there because I keep getting emails about it and messages. And um, I feel like if I don't put this out there, I'm kind of... I'm responsible if somebody makes a decision based on the fact that they didn't have all the information that they needed that I had that I didn't put out. Now, it's not that I'm keeping the information from people. It's that I don't think about it because it seems so basic to me because I've been through it that I feel like everybody knows. I get, you know, like, should I become a trainer? How do I become a trainer? I want to be a trainer. Trainer, 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 trainer. And, you know, our area is flooded with trainers. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of trainers here. In general, there's a lot of health-conscious people that live in the D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. There's a lot of people that are buy organic foods. You know, they take their vitamins. They train. They run marathons. I mean, there's a lot. They do, like, the cycling with the Lance Armstrong outfits on. There's a lot of people that are active in there health conscious. Now, this area is someplace that a trainer could make a living, you know, on his own or at a gym. When I first started out at Gold's Gym in our area in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, <clears throat> excuse me, there wasn't a whole lot of training going around. And, you know, I think, you know, you tops, you would get about $30 an hour for a session, which some people are like, fuck, that's good money. Well, it's good money, but, you know, you got to figure that the gym takes a piece of that you know, because you're working at a gym. Unless you work for yourself, then you train what you keep. And I think a lot of people here, you know, well, trainers make 60 to $120 an hour. Shit, they're getting paid like doctors. They don't even have to go to school for eight years and do all the shit and go in debt and stuff like that. I want to do that. And, you know, I actually was physical therapists were the same thing. You know, when people figured out physical therapists were making a shitload of money, a bunch of people went to school to be physical therapists and the fucking the industry got flooded. There was too many people trying to do it and not enough jobs to go around. Training is kind of the same way. There's a shitload of fucking trainers out there and fucking coaches. I see them every day, like a new team pop up. Like, who the fuck are these people now? People just trying to throw shit together to make money. If we back up to where I began 20, 20, 18 years ago, 18, 18, 19, 19 years ago is when I decided to be a trainer. And my training decision was because I wanted to be in the gym because I wanted to be a bodybuilder. I wanted to be a pro bodybuilder. I looked in the magazines and all these guys and said, they're making tons of money. They're having so much fun. They get notoriety. They travel the world, you know, and they look like that. Like, I want to do that. How do I do that? I don't know, but I know you, could, you do it in the gym. So while I'm in the gym, I'll probably learn how to do all that. So my decision to be a trainer was more to be in the gym all the time to pick up those secrets to become the pro bodybuilder. And I remember going to a, um, a vacation in Tennessee with my parents, and we bought a computer, and I was using the computer to try to set up what I was going to do as a personal trainer, like build programs so that I had, like, templates and stuff. And I remember asking my mom, because you know, I was like 17 at the time, I remember going, Ma, I said, is $30,000, $35,000 a year good money for someone who's like 18? My mom was like, you know, at the time she was like, yeah, it's really good money for some Why? What, the, what are you going to do to make $35,000? I was like, being a trainer, you can make thirty five grand. Now, that was the sales pitch inside the training certification, you know, you know trainers average $35,000 a year to start. And I was like, okay, so I'll be able to make a living, but I'm going to be in the gym, more importantly. Well, when I got to the gym, that's if you're working on your own, you know, pulling in good money per hour. When I got to the gym, it didn't work out that way. You know, you only got a couple clients, so you're making like $125 a week, you know. So it's not that big rush of money that you think you're going to get. And if you don't take on another job, you're going to fucking starve, be homeless, living with fucking friends, whatever. I mean, but you're not going to make a living. So I went to work at a gas station, a Shell gas station overnight. I worked the graveyard shift to support myself while I was trying to be a trainer. And then uh, I realized, you know, I'm not going to do it on my own. I need to go to work for a gym. So I went to work for Bally's, Total Fitness. Went to Bally's, and they had um, trainer positions, but they were not available, so they had a service instructor. Service instructor is like a trainer who works for the gym that showed them the Life Circuit Fitness, which was like their 30-minute workout at the time. And you get paid like 10 bucks an hour. And I was like, well, you know, it's 10 bucks an hour. I'll work at the gas station. I'll do this. Like, you know, I'll, I'll manage. I'll, I'll fucking work. I'll get it done. 10 bucks an hour, you're making what? $250 a week working there. Or 200 bucks a week or something like that working there. Hoping that one of the personal trainer spots opened up because you want to make more money, but then they took a piece of that money too. So those trainers were not just training there, they were training at fucking other gyms, they were training at people's houses, they were hustling too. So I'm watching this going, man, this is a lot harder fucking work than just going to the gym and training people. It doesn't work like that. You know, when I left uh, um, um, Bally's, I continued to train people on my own. Then when I moved to D.C., I went to work for Gold's Gym. Now, Gold's Gym is undeniably one of the biggest gyms in the entire world. Brand-wise, it's, it's the biggest gym. And 
And once you work for them, and you know, even they wind up giving you 30% of the profit. So if they charge $69 for a session, they give you 30% of that. So again, you're not getting paid what you think you're going to get paid. So now, while I was there, I was working, shit, I was working so many hours because I was the, first I was a trainer, then I was a fitness manager who I managed the gym and ran the training, um, the training department, which gave me big bonuses and, you know, I could still do my training on the side, which I was making really good money, but the amount of hours I was working, like 60, 70, 80 hours a week, I was almost working two full-time jobs a week to make that, and I had to make those bonuses to be able to make, you know, make my, my money for the month. Once I left there, I went to work for myself, Rockful Fitness, been there ever since. And that's a train which you keep. But here's the kicker. Even if you charge $100 a session, you know, a doctor, a doctor's pretty much full all day long, five days a week. So the doctor's probably pulling in seven to 10, no, well, because he's got maybe people doubled up. So maybe 25 patients a day that he'll see, 60 bucks for the hour each, plus whatever else goes on top of it, add that up for 40 hours a week, that's a shit ton of money, right? Well, your average trainer is going to work five to ten hours a week. Okay, so roughly, if you're working five hours a week for sixty bucks, you know you're not making what that doctor's making. Some trainers don't even work that. It's very rare that you see a trainer full time that works forty hours and um, is nonstop go 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 and makes good money. I mean, it's just very rare. So be aware if you guys are jumping into this because you're like, oh, I'm going to make some fucking mad cash, mad loot, money, money, money. You know, you're going to fucking starve. You know, until you establish yourself and set yourself apart, which took me fucking a long time to do. And even when I got here to D.C., I had to start over and do it all over again in a flooded area. You know, you're going to fucking starve for a while, you know. And if I didn't have, you know, people believing in me and helping me out when I was, you know, fucking down, like Carrie and my parents, I'd have been fucked when I moved here because there's no way I would have been able to make it on my own to be at the point where I'm at today. So, you know, be aware, you know, like someone just email me. I'm looking at the email now. It's to spawn this video. He wants to know whether he should get a certification, go right into personal training, or if he should go to college. You know, and they told this guy that he should get a cert uh, he should go to college and get a degree in something. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever he wants to do. Get that degree first. Then when he gets out of college, get a certification and pursue training if he wants to. But you have that degree to fall back on if training doesn't work. If you do it the way I did, I had no other fallback plan, which is fucking stupid. Right off the bat, it's fucking dumb. And I had no choice but to make it work, you know, and luckily it did, you know, there's many days where I've told Carrie, I said, you know, and I can relate to a lot of people because, you know, a homeless person, I can relate to them because there's times I had $5 in my bank account, you know, I almost couldn't pay rent. There were times where, you know, I couldn't afford to pay for food for me and Bruno and Nico at the time, so I wouldn't really eat that much and I make sure they get them food, you know, I can relate to starving literally, you know, and having to have people help you out and stuff because you want to be a trainer you want to follow your dream it's great to follow a dream but if you don't have people like that in your life backing you up it's not going to happen and you're going to be fucked so be smart do the right thing even jay cutler got a, a degree in criminal justice to be a police officer before he followed his his uh his um career as a pro bodybuilder his dream so i mean even some of the pros do it some of those other guys i hate it when i see it it bothers me so much they dump all their eggs into one basket, becoming a pro bodybuilder. That doesn't work out. They have no other skills to do anything. And they wind up just fucked. It's, it sucks. So be smart. Do the right thing. Go to school. Get your degree. And then after that, if things aren't working out, at least you have somewhere to go and something to use. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is the blog. And where? Get your degree first, bicep, and we're out.